Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I am Marv, your resident or yes, resident of scent enthusiast. And we're about to start my retail hauls, but I wanted to bring you something today a little off the cuff. And I figured why wouldn't I share this? And I'm sorry I'm disinfecting my hands because I just got done making this, so I wanted to make sure that um, I sat down and shared it with you. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you guys have heard of, um, and it, if you are on Etsy, sorry, Pinterest, the way that I was Pinterest crazy a few years back, this is the story time. You've already seen the thumbnail. Basically, I was going, um, trying to save money on detergents and wanted to make a blend. I seen or came across a recipe. I can actually pull it up for you now. Um, some form, shape, form, or fashion of the following. Um, it will say, let me go on Pinterest. And then if you go on Pinterest and you search, it's like a wash and powder mix. Um, and it's designed to, there's plenty of YouTube videos about it as well. And um, there are, hold on guys, let me go back here. Um, let's see, washing, um, washing powder, homemade. Um, and what I wanted to do was make my own. So it's, it's called the easy DIY powder laundry detergent. Um, and it was marketed, uh, to last a long time. Here it is. Um, and basically you could put a couple of simple ingredients together and it would save money and works great. And I've been doing this now, guys, for about five years. So um, this is something that I am sharing with you. I have sold this to clients. I used to make it for a really good friend, her grandmother. Um, and I've riffed on this particular recipe. I guess I technically should put this um, <laughs> on my website, it really, but basically, um, it is marketed as a homemade laundry detergent. The original recipe that I've seen in there is you can do whatever you want. I mean, but the original recipe was marketed because it's only supposed to be ready in 15 minutes and only supposed to be about 30 bucks. Okay. And the original recipe, which I have listed below, was wash, uh, baking, washing soda, not baking soda, washing soda. So I'm going to show you super washing soda. And yes, I literally just mixed all of this. I'm going to put some feed inside of the video for you to see too. So the following is super Arm & Hammer washing soda, okay? That's one of them. It's a natural detergent booster. It can be used all around your home, not just in your laundry. They market it for natural cleaning. All right, so washing soda. Um, this is a 55 ounce um, box, three pounds, or you could find, yes, yeah, so this is about the size that it comes in, and I promise I think that they've shrunk this over the years. So I'm going over the original recipe and then we're going to talk about what, how I've changed it. I kind of have to open this a little crazy. This is Borax Laundry Booster Multi-Purpose Cleaner. All right. So Borax, I thought I've seen in different sizes, but this is the four pound, one ounce, 65 ounce um, box. Okay. So this is also there and I will link. Um, the, I really do go to Walmart. Really the only time that I go to Walmart, um, I find that a Walmart, um, is going to be probably the only place that will have everything. What I find is when you go into other like supermarkets that unfortunately are non Walmart guys, what ends up happening is, is that they'll have some, but don't have another. You don't got time for that. Okay. Um, it also calls for one bar of Zoat soap. However, and this is probably what I am missing. I buy Zoat soap flakes and I probably screwed up and threw that box away. 
Let me show you what that looks like if I can find it. Guys, this is what the Zote Soap Flakes look like. Um, I do, you'll see it in a pink bar. Um, if you get the bars of either Zote Soap, the, the pink bar of Zote Soap, which is going to be like a buck, um, they come already in flakes. You see the Zote and then they flake it. This is what I, I get, okay? One box of the Zolt Soap Flakes is the equivalent of two Zolt Soap Bars and they flake it. What I find or found in the very beginning, and I'm going to tell you how I riffed on the original recipe. What I find is, is that when you buy it in the soap bars, yes, it's going to be way more um, economical to buy the bar and you can grade it and that's fine if that's, you know, or if you have like a mini little food processor that's strictly for your crafting or whatever else you do, because I craft as well. Um, one of the things that I find with it is, is that the Zote Soap, when you shred it, after you're opening and going in there and doing your laundry and grabbing your, um, grabbing your scoop, it gets hard. In the very beginning, that's what I did. I sat there and I, I graded it. I bought like um, a little grater from the dollar store and I graded it. And I find that they got very hard. So I stopped doing that. And when I went inside of um, the supermarket and saw that there were flakes, I figured at the time, I mean, and this was a while ago because I believe that the soap, soap flakes now, let me go on Walmart's website. uh, -uh. I believe that there are $2 and some change now. And back then when I started making this, I want to say at least, it's been a, a while, guys. I'm talking about five, at least five to seven years ago. I feel, um, I remember specifically it being like a dollar and 65 cent. Zote soap flakes. Now it is $3 and 38 cent. See, I knew you could still find it. It looks like the soap um, is $1.62. It comes in white um, or pink, um, but the box has doubled. When I um, went off the bar and went to the flakes, I remember it was a, it was the exact same amount. I remember $1.62, $1.62, which is exactly what one bar costs, and it used to cost $0.99, cents, so this is horrible. But anyway... So we got that. So we, what have we covered so far? We have our Arm & Hammer washing soda. We have our Borax. We have our Zote Soap. Now, I don't use Fels Napta. Um, I actually have an old bar somewhere in there, but I don't want to stop the, re the, the video for it. Um, guys, I'm telling you that the Fels Napta is a laundry soap bar. And if you, if some recipes say you could put the, um, the Zolt soap and the Fels Napta. I personally feel like that's overload. Um, but again, the original recipe came with an option for either Fels Napta, Fels Napta or Zolt soap. It wasn't both, but again, it depends on what you are um, watching and, and if you've heard of it before because we all you should have if if that's that type of life you're in some people don't want to do it um, for whatever their reason is but I this is a testimony video so it's it's I'm here to to testify that this works okay so that was the original recipe with a purex crystal now, you see Arm & Hammer crystals because this is my riff on it. So, I'm going to tell you it was a Purex crystal. And the reason why it called for a Purex scent crystal is because you were supposed to make, be able to make the entire recipe for 30 bucks. Obviously, that's not the case anymore. However, with the amount that it makes, and I'm going to show the feed of what the consistency should look like, guys. Um, I'm what what I'm saying is that I, I have to reevaluate how much is going to cost. We can add it up. The, the, the thing that I will testify to, though, is that um, you have everything in one batch, so you do not need multiple things unless you want additional scent and we'll get into that as well 
So it was, let's run back through it before I get into my variation on this. And that's where this comes in at. So it was Purex uh, scent crystals, um, which were back then the cheapest. The cheapest ones was the Purex ones. Um, and one extra ingredient was an OxyClean. Now, the reason why, again, it targeted saving you money and lasting a long time is because, and I actually have that, I, you know, every time I sit here, I don't have what I need. Give me another second. All right, so this is LA's awesome oxygen orange base cleaner, chloride free. Now, this one is, I'm sorry, chlorine free. So this would be the version of your OxyClean. So again, let's run back through the original recipe. Um, and back then, it really did cost like $28 because this was a buck. And now we know that this is even $1.25. Um, when I sold them, um, I would sell them, obviously, what is this, in 32 ounces. And this, at the time, I would fill this all the way up. Now it's just for my old caps and um, scoops because I make this stuff. Um I would sell it this way, um, and um, and then I also sold it in bags if people wanted samples. As a matter of fact, I am delivering two samples of this tomorrow because um, I spent way too much money on... Um, I found that once we ran out, I got so busy that that's the thing. When you make your own things, you have to remember to <laughs> remake your own stuff like not remember but you have to stop what you're doing and that's what you have to do okay so again let's run back through it we have a 55 ounce box of arm and hander soup arm and hammer super washing soda one box of 65 ounces of borax detergent booster one bar of zoat soap or two and one of these, or OxyClean, but it was originally this, one of these, or two, depending on how many, um, how much you wanted to fill up your container. I bought a, I got the picture, where's my phone? What I use this, I have it in my laundry cabinet, and it basically fills up um, 15 liters or a 16 quart flat plastic container with a lid that fits perfectly on my cabinets so it's at the level where you stand and you literally go in there grab a scoop and then you go and put it directly into your detergent now it was originally marketed as well as all you had to do was use it's a year supply some recipes said a year some recipes said six months um, and you would use one to two tablespoons per load. Um, so it would be one of these little scoops, if I can get it out. So I don't know, this isn't measured, but it would be one of these. Um, and when I sell it, I sell it with these. And this is, I don't remember. But I would tell people, hold on, 29.6 cc's. Um, I would tell people to use two of these. I don't know whether that's a teaspoon. But this is what I would do. All right. Now, let's get on the revised version of this. Obviously, with inflation and with me testing it out, and you know that I am a scent enthusiast, I found that the original recipe just did not make my laundry smell clean. Smell clean. Smell fresh the way that I want it. That original um, recipe was good and it did save money. But what I found was is that I was constantly craving scent. It washed like a pro. I wasn't happy about powder, but I soon became a believer, <laughs> a believer about it. Um, because I just think that it did a very good job, guys. So I have since riffed on this uh, recipe. Um, and so I'm going to give you Marv's new version of this recipe. And I'm telling you that you should at least 
invest the money and try it. Let, if you are about saving money and not, you know, if, if, if that's what you want, you basically have everything right in one batch. You can't beat that. Even with inflation, this is still a good deal because you just put that scoop in there and you're good. Now, if you want to add anything else, you can. So what I do is, is I still add something else to it, but I can customize this. So now what I do is the one box of Arm & Hammer washing soda, one back box of Borax, Zote Soap Flakes, two boxes of those. I don't use Purex scent crystals. Um, I use the two boxes of Zote Soap Flakes. I use a box of OxyClean. This is a small one because I also started using another brand that's much, much, much cheaper. But for my own sanity, I know that this OxyClean works because this is your whitener. So this is the reason why one scoop of this is good for your colors and good for your whites. So to get to give myself a peace of mind, and this little one right here was fine for me um, because this is good for whites and colors and blah, blah, blah. However, I also use this Purex. Now, this is slept on. It's color safe bleach, the exact same thing as that OxyClean. It just has the Purex. Purex seems to be a little bit more affordable. So this is actually, guys, only like $2 and some change. So um, you can go and get the LA's Awesome, which is the dollar version. That's completely fine. I'm telling you that your OxyClean portion of the recipe, you can. I got two of these and I added that because I saw this in the store and was like, oh, I saw it in a bigger box, but I didn't see it in this size and that particular Walmart before. And I've I, anything that can save money, that's what I want to do. So I saw that they had a smaller version, which was that OxyClean that I just showed you. So I add all of that. One OxyClean, because I know that OxyClean works. Two of these, okay, um, again, and this fills up my, actually, there's a line that goes around, and it fills up from that line all the way down. Um, I typically give samples, so I kind of, I go a little bit above the line, um, but not filling it all the way up in that container. I'm going to put that feed in there so you can see what the consistency looks like. So, as far as the scent portion, what I do is my scent crystals, and you can put your favorite scent crystal in here, depending on what mood I am in. I have changed this over the years. I've done Down the Unstoppables. I've done anything that works for me. Um, Down the Unstoppables is going to make the recipe go up a little bit, but back then when it was affordable, I would splurge for the Down the Unstoppables depending on what mood I was in and just switch them out. You don't have to add anything else because your scent booster is directly in there. But I like a wax, guys, and a crystal. I know that it may be overboard, but I need scent. I need my mix to be concentrated, and I need to be able to smell that through. So I use this. This is an in-wash scent booster. This is the bomb, guys. I'm telling you right now, it is clean meadow. I have a backstory about this, but I'm going to do a separate video on this because I want to tell you how else you can use this in scenting your home. Bomb. If you are, and I got some, um, some other uh, content coming, so I use this. Now, this is a bigger one. I actually had a smaller one, too, and it was half open. I literally have like 15 of these around the house because every time I saw it, I would buy it because... When I ran out and I went to a Walmart, they didn't have it, and I freaked out. And I'm telling you guys, the only reason why I go to Walmart are, is very specific things. I'm a Target girl. Uh, this is still pretty affordable. I think that you can get one of these for like three bucks. As a matter of fact, let me look, at, let me look it up now. I'm going to link everything in the description box, guys. I always do. 
I suggest you give this a try. This is Arm and Hammer. This is a scent booster. Okay, so... And guys, make sure you get washing soda, not baking soda. Um, I don't... If you guys um, have come across a recipe that asks for wash... I'm lying, guys. They went up. The big one is this. 24 ounces. The 24 ounce one is $4.97. It didn't used to be that. But there is another one that is about maybe that big. And all they have in here is 24 ounce um, bottles. I believe it is a 18 ounce one um, as well. But anyway, they have a couple of different versions um, or scents. And I'm telling you that this is my all-time favorite. But let me tell you what else I have used. So they have a Arm & Hammer Clean and Simple. It's called Lavender Escape. The only reason why I did not buy that is because I have 60,000 bottles of this. I'm telling you guys. But that, um, my last batch that I made had the Lavender Escape. And the 18-ounce bottle from the 24-ounce bottle seems to be the exact same price. Um, if you are going to be filling up, let me go back to the stats of my container again, a 16-quart or 15-liter plastic container. Um, I also have a glass jar um, with the lid at the top, but it doesn't fit in my cabinet. And I got that size container because I wanted to, it to slide into my uh, cabinets where my laundry goes. Um, if you have glass, it's better in glass, in my opinion, because glass will preserve it. And then you have on that, that container that I'm talking about, it has, it looks like a huge oversized cookie jar. Um, and you can really see the layers and it's really pretty. Plastic works just as fine though. I've had that container and I'm pointing that way like you guys know what I'm talking about. But I've had that container for at least, I feel like, five years I've been doing this. At least. Um, or, or longer. So, um, these are the, before I get into the last thing that I order, um, that, that I put in this mix. And then uh, show you the feed. We're going to end with the feed so you can see it. They have Clean Crisp. I have not had that, smelt that one. They have Clean Meadow. This is the bomb. They have Maui Sunset. I have not smelt that one yet. They have Clean and Simple. I can attest to that smells good. They have, uh, let's see, and then they, uh, Tropical Paradise. I was not a fan. It did not throw the way that this one did. It, did, it just wasn't as strong. Um, they have one that's Purifying Waters. They have one that's called Tropical Paradise. Um, I have not tried the other ones, guys, but I need a scent crystal and a wax or something that I can attest to. So, I will do both. And when I don't do both, this is my secret weapon. Now, I don't see this as much. This is by Final Touch, and it is called Alive. And guys, I'm telling you that this is hard as hell to find. It is Fresh Expressions in Wash Laundry Scent Booster, and it is alive. It's called it, it's scented with pink orchid and pink orchid and sunrise. And oh my goodness. The consistency of this is really, really thin. Oh, it smells so good. And I wish that I had it, but when you look at the feed of me mixing everything, those little pink bits, they look like if someone took almost in little sticks, if that makes sense. Little bit. They're not, it's not wax, but it's so fine. But when I tell you that this stuff lasts a long time, guys, I'm telling you now. If you don't want to take my word for it and try the Marv's Mix, that's completely fine. But everything that I put together, and 
Um, the I would add, sometimes I smell things together, but I've been making it for so long. This goes in every single batch. Every single batch I put this in there, no matter what I'm scenting it with, okay? So typically, let's see if they have this at Walmart because this is hard to find. Where did I, where did I buy it? Where did Marv buy it? I bought it at Big Lots, and Big Lots would always have it, but now with everything, here we go, Final Touch. Final Touch Alive, which I don't see. And if they don't sell it anymore, I'm going to be so sad. Yep, I don't even see these. Final Touch Fresh Expressions. Um, I didn't see. Yeah. It's not on Walmart's website. Let me Google it. Um. I really highly recommend if you guys have a big lots by you or you, I, I'm telling you, I would not steer you wrong. Final touch expressions. Now it's showing that it's here. I'm confused. No, they have it. They do have a final touch in a liquid fabric softener, but that's not what I want. So let me go back to Google. So final touch. This is a in wash. They probably have it on on Amazon. Laundry. I'm going to be very sad. Scent booster. Because, guys, I'm the type of person when I know that I like something. Ooh, they have a blue one. Ooh. Yeah. Has Final Touch been discontinued? It has been discontinued by the manufacturer. That's the fabric softener has been discontinued. All right, let me click on this web. This Okay, so it looks like they have it, but it's out of stock. I don't know whether it will be in stock by you guys, but I'm happy that I had it because I'm the type of person that when I like something and I know it works, every time I see it, I buy it. And I found this at Big Lots, I'm telling you. Um, so if you have a Big Lots, I would suggest that you get it. I am going to link the, the the link to what it looks like on the Walmart website. And then for S&Gs, I'm going to run over to Amazon really quick and see if they have it. Now, typically, it would have popped up, but it did not. So I'm very, very shocked. It looks like somebody had some on eBay, but I mean, my God. Final Touch Laundry Enhancer. They have one that says that it is $19.99. They have to be kidding. You got to be kidding me. This stuff is not $19.99. Um, it looks like they have one that's called Happy. Um, and I've never seen this one before. It would be nice, but I'm going to be on the hunt for this because now I'm very sad. Um, but it was, it is 24 ounces. Um, I knew that I probably have maybe one more bottle left, so I'll probably be changing out my scent and keeping up with um, trying to try to prolong it, but this is what it is. So if you find it in your area and you watch my video, let me know because uh, maybe we can work something out, guys, because I'm telling you this is bomb, and it goes in every single one of my batches. So in closing, my testimony is if you want to – if you're not partial to liquid, if you want everything in one scoop and something, I'm not going to say a year. I'm going to attest to between six and nine months because sometimes we automatically wire ourselves to think, well, if I put more in, uh, put more detergent in heavily soiled um, items, I'm not going to tell you how to wash. That's completely up to you. I will not <laughs> do that instead because it's such a concentrated mix but i have wood light and i have other things for different things now this is going to be for your regular standard laundry i do not use this for delicates if it's that delicate i'm going to use wood light like my north face winter coat that is cream don't ask marv why she got that i have to wash that specially um and get wool light for it because it's just that that weird cream that almost looks like, like an off-white cream type of thing. 
more off-white than cream. Um, but if you have a HE, a high efficiency, um, I think that this is safe. Um, I don't think that it is going to cause it any issues at all, especially if you, but if you are one of those uh, people that don't want to take any chances, then this probably won't be for you. But if you are looking for your light, cause everything is going up. So everything seems that we're using more of it when it's the same. It's just that everything went up. So it seems like we're, we're spending more money and it's not, it seems like we are. I mean, what used to go, when you used to be able to go to the store and spend $20 on something, it's double now. So, with that being said, what I would say is that this is just a good all-around detergent. Now, if you want to make it and don't scent it, you can do that. I've done that before. Um, and then use your favorite liquid um, uh, detergent. And you don't want to, I mean, liquid fabric softener. And you don't want to put a scent booster in there. That's fine, too. Um, but this is what I use. And like I said, I got so far off. The, the rocker that I was just like, I had bought the ingredients, but I'm thrown off when I go inside of a place and they don't have everything. I'm going to tell you a good place to find everything minus this, which is my secret weapon, um, is Walmart. They have everything right there. You just boop, boop, boop and pick everything up. Um, so if you happen to have a big lots like I do very, very close to you and you want to try this out, you can, if you find that there is a blue one, if some of you guys tried the blue one, it's called happy. Um, let me know what that smells like. Let's run back through this recipe, um, in closing. So you have it. And again, I will link, um, the original recipe so you can see that. And then Marv's Blend, what I do, and this is what I do, and it never changes. The only thing that may change is my crystals. It's always going to be a crystal in this <laughs> if I can't find it. So again, Marv's Blend, this is my riff on it, okay? So I am going to go through this right now. So, we're going to start with one box or 55 ounces of Arm & Hammer washing soda. We're going to do one box or 65 ounces of Borax. Okay. We're going to do two boxes of Zoat Soap Flakes. I use two. Um... You can decide what you want. I've been doing this for so long. This is just my recipe. So you do what you want. Test it out. Okay. Then I do OxyClean. The actual name brand, OxyClean. This one, if you're going to, this one is the smaller one. It makes me feel better. This is a 1.77 pound. Um, this is HE efficient, guys. It says it on there. So I think that all of these might be. They're starting to make everything HE efficient. Um, you know, so you can do more if you want, but OxyClean, name brand. Don't skimp on that because that's going to give you what you need, okay? And I'm going to put brand in parentheses so you know. Okay. You can do that. There is one that's bigger than that, but I did half because I also do two boxes of Purex, Ultra Purex 2, which is the Stain Fighter and Bright Booster. So I'm going to do, and this is saying that it's safe for every load. So two boxes of ultra purex stain fighter and bright booster this is ultra Pu purex 2 okay now i have we have our washing soda we have our borax detergent booster we have our zote soap we have our oxyclean and we have our um it's basically oxyclean brand oxyclean off brand now, if you want to substitute, you can definitely add this to it if you want. Although it's, it's, 
This, this, if you're going to sub anything out, you can sub the OxyClean out for this, if that's what you want to do, because it is the oxygen, and it is really the, the yeah, so OxyClean, Oxy, Oxygen, there we go. Um, this one doesn't say Oxy for, oxy, for Oxygen, um, but I still think that it's necessary because it's color safe bleach, so it's going to really... Focus on fighting those stains and brightening the clothes. So this is definitely a version of OxyClean. But the OxyClean brand, I feel like, um, is, I find, and uh, that it gets the whites whiter without you putting bleach in this because we don't have any bleach in it. Um, if you're going to be washing with bleach, um, and it must take bleach, guys. Do your bleach separate. I do not add bleach to this blend um, because obviously you don't want to get all your colors. You have, you probably have more colors than you have whites. So, um, and then um, I can do. If you guys want to see what I use for my whites, because this this concentrated mix is bomb. All you need, I use the um, the Clorox. Bleach tabs, no spill. They look like little dishwasher tabs. That's what I use so I don't have to pour bleach. But So if you're going to substitute the OxyClean, you can substitute it with two of these, $1.25 at the dollar store, okay? Um, and then we're going to talk about scenting. So sub for LA. It is called LA's Awesome. Or LA's totally awesome. LA's. And I can link the link to that. Totally awesome. And I would do two. Okay. These are 32 ounces. This one is 1.77 pounds. Um, so obviously two of those for one of these. So that's what I would do. And you can always add a little bit more if you do OxyClean. You're good with either that one and two of these or two of the LA Awesome um, and two of those and you should be fine, okay? So that is the Marv's blend. Now when we talk about scenting, you can pretty much do what you want. But if you're gonna do my blend, then you're going to do a crystal automatically because the crystal is going to be the bomb. Now, we're going to do the Arm & Hammer Clean Sensations Incent Booster Clean Meadow is the scent. So this is going to be Arm & Hammer. This is Clean Meadow. Clean Meadow is the scent. Do two. Um, if you're going to be, again, filling up a, what was that, a 16? I guess I got to leave this up because for some, okay. If you're going to be filling up a 16-quart container or a 15-liter, because um, it's the same thing, the stats, I would definitely do two. And I want you to look at it from this standpoint. It's a crystal. Um, if you're not going to be doing wax, do two um just have two scent boosters that go together in there okay and i change them up but this is my secret weapon and this always goes in there um and it doesn't look like i'm gonna have it but if you can find it and then finally final touch in wash laundry Scent booster. Now, you can sub out your crystals if that's what you want. And I'm going to put two. But don't sub out. Find your secret weapon. This is so fine that it's like it's like it's granulated you don't even you see the pretty pink but it's not huge now let me tell you what i have done in marv's blend sub out the scent for another one but they're good and i gave you um when i do lavender that lavender one it 
Guys, I'm telling you, if you've been watching my wax videos, you know lavender. I love it, but it can be touch and go. Mm -mm. Where's my tab? That lavender scent booster is the bomb. It is. It smells so darn good. Um, so that's what I would suggest that you do. Um, if you want to make that your crystal, that's fine. Um, you may feel like it's too strong, but when in doubt, and I'm going to put that down here, always do at least one crystal in the wax. If you have one of those uh, machines where you can't do wax, um, because sometimes the wax doesn't melt. I wouldn't go full blast with the wax um, if you're going to do the wax. And what do I mean? I mean, what's the what's the wax? That's the down the unstoppables. That's wax. Um, it's waxy, if you ask me. Um, I like those, but they don't do it by themselves. I believe that the most concentrated is always going to be a crystal. Those crystals are good to go. Now, I have seen back in the day, because the dollar store has crystals, people make this blend with the dollar store crystals. My mom did it, but my mom does not require the amount of scent that Marv does. <laughs> so she'll be like, that smells fine. But my mother has her own blend when she uses her laundry, when she, when she washes her laundry. She has a special liquid um, um, fabric softener blend that she uses and it doesn't matter to her because no matter what she uses in that machine she's going to put that blend in there and they, it's the, those clothes smell amazing it smells really good she does it, she should start a laundry business just with her scents but I think my scents are not too shabby either so that is my um, my blend now um, I may come back with another version of it um, because I've done different scent combinations. So I may extend this video or do a part two just so we could talk about the scent combinations and tell you what I've tried because I've done everything. I've done it with Scentsy. I've done it with um, with the um, a, a line at uh, Target. They're all natural line, which I fell in love with. Um, I've done it with a couple different things, but this is my go-to, guys. So that is concludes the video so you're going to see now um i'm going to be talking to you through that particular video and you're going to see the consistency you guys it's you're going to just dump everything on top of one another like i mentioned in the in the video that you're going to see next you should do it in a well ventilated area not in your home um and put on some gloves and really get that working in there um, and getting everything well incorporated. Thank you so much. This has went way longer than I wanted it to go. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye. All right, guys. So this is the consistency that you want. You want to make sure that you're going all the way down to the bottom. And you're actually mixing it, as you can see me doing here. What you want to do is incorporate every layer. So it looks like every with every scoop, you have what you need. And this is going to provide your this is safe for your colors as i explained in the video it, it has your scent in it it's highly highly concentrated guys and if you do mix this please do it outside or put on a mask especially right now if you're in the hotter climates do not attempt to do this at all um unless like i'm in the i'm, I'm on the west coast it's um hot it's hades so um, I have to bring it outside to either my front or my back patio to mix this outside because I don't want the back draft of that washing of uh, borax or washing soda whiff to come into my face. Um, and this is what it should look like. I, I would say that I incorporate this. You, some people do a stick, a big spoon, whatever you want to do. I just do gloves and I make sure again that I get down all the way to the bottom. And because when I um, put this in where we wash laundry, this is our cup. It comes typically with OxyClean. And basically, I've given somebody this for a sample. It typically comes up a little bit more, but that's okay. This is the size tub that you want to get. I put that in there. And this is how this, this is what we do. See you in the video.